Good morning, T-Wolves! Mr. Quinton here with what we did for today, Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. So, uh, hopefully you've got your uh, project done and turned in. If not, well, um, I guess we will have to deal with that, won't we? Because you only have uh, today, tomorrow, and Thursday to have all your missing work turned in. So let's get that taken care of, folks. So today we're moving forward with our cultural diffusion through science and technology. And we've got a pretty simple exercise for you today because I wanted to make sure that no matter what, you do have some time to finish up on some things that you might have missed. So if we are pretending like we are in first period, but of course you're going to go to whatever period you are in, head on down to quarter two, jump on into week of January 11th, and then head to today, the 12th, you will see that we've got a simple, simple assignment. This is for points. It is a minor grade. Don't worry, folks. It's the last minor grade of the whole semester. Woo! Success. Uh, let's see here, folks. So, uh, we're going to go in there. You're going to see that we've got a video here to watch. It is a short video on the evolution of COVID-19, and then we have got some questions for you to answer. Uh, so the video is literally, uh, let's see here, take a look right quick. It is less than five minutes long. I do know that for sure. Uh, so no sense in watching a Grammarly commercial for five seconds, just to tell you, but it's about five minutes long or so. So you won't have very long to watch on that video. And then we have our questions. Now, folks, as you can see here, it says after watching the video, please choose two of the following questions and write at least three complete and complex sentences responding to those questions. Very similar to the gaming assignment that we did last week. Um, and of course, if you need to, you can use Google to help you search for answers, okay, um, to help give you information to answer the questions, that is. Uh, if you are a pre-AP or GT class, you do have the extension. It is in blue. Uh, so you need to write uh, at least two additional complete and complex sentences that compares and contrasts COVID-19 with another form of science or medicine that has affected our culture. All right. So um, you can see here that I have gone ahead and provided uh, exemplar answers. No, I do not expect you to write at this level. Um, unlike yesterday when I told you about the template kind of for the uh, five complete and complex sentences for your project. These, again, are more higher level writing just to give you an idea of what answers might look like. OK, please don't copy me. Please don't copy and paste. Um, but I have answered all these questions, so please feel free to pause the video so that you can get a good look here and see what I am saying about this. Um, but it, you only have to choose two, okay? You only have to choose two of these questions. You do not have to answer all four, but I do need uh, three sentences, minimum three complete and complex sentences for each question you respond to. Believe it or not, at the time of this recording, I actually have someone who tried to turn this in and they tried to put in one sentence answers for three questions. And I'm not sure where that was coming from, but that is not what I'm looking for, folks. I need three complete and complex sentences for each of the two questions you answer. OK, and again, you can use this to take a look. Now, this is for points. It is due by 1159 tonight so that you can get your minor grade points in. Please don't be late. Uh, you can just submit it right here in the assignment, as you know. And that's really all we got going on, folks. So if you have any questions, as always, please send me a note in school or send me that email. Other than that, I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. Mr. Quinton, out.